If you go back to the Old Testament, and I don't know the entire Bible perfectly, but how many times were the nation of Israel conquered when they were obeying God? How many times? I don't think ever. If they were obeying God, I don't think they ever got conquered by their enemies. Okay. There may be some bad things happening in your country now. You may say that the president or your rulers or whoever who have power in your government or whatever, you may say they are the problem. No, I don't think so. They may be causing problems, but ultimately, what I believe is the problem are the people. If you go against the rules of the Bible, the rules which apply to us. If you choose to cheat people, lie and do so many evil things in your country, let's say many of you all do that in your country. If bad things begin to happen in your country, can you say, well, the president is corrupt, the senators, the representatives, whoever, they may be corrupt, but ultimately your country is going bad because of the people. What if the entire country is serving God. Do you believe much bad things will happen to your country? Now, we can see things in our own point of view, or we can look at the Bible and compare things. If you look in the Bible, I believe much of the times bad things happens to people when they choose not to serve God, not to follow his rules. So if your country is becoming more and more immoral, allowing abortions, allowing homosexual marriage, allowing things that go against the Bible, what do you believe is going to happen to your country? I think more and more immoral and unfair things are going to happen in your country. So what use is there in protesting against the corruption? What use is there to riot and break into buildings and stuff like that for payback or whatever reason you have? If you are, if your country is being punished because of sin, what use is there to protest against unfairness or whatever? Man, please think about it. If God is allowing bad things to happen to your country, what can you do about it? Protest, fight people and stuff like that? What use is that? If you want change, repent. Give your life to Jesus Christ. Change your ways. Don't do evil to pay someone back for doing evil to you. What is going to happen if you do that? I believe things are going to become worse. Give your life to Jesus Christ. Pray fast. Get other people, encourage other people to do the same. 
all of this protesting and we want fair rights or whatever else or what is that going to do? Nothing. If you continue, if your people or your country continue to do what is wrong, not really trying, trying to change their ways, I believe punishment and more evil will happen to your country. So please understand what I am trying to tell you. Going, trying to fix corruption in an earthly way, I guess I can say, it's not going to work. It is not. Even if you get rid of the president or get rid of this person or that person, if the people continue to do evil, won't another evil president or whatever come in? Please think about that. It is not the president. It is not the senators. Yes, they may be doing evil, but it is not them. It is the people. Change your ways. Pray to God fast. Ask God for help. Please listen. Let me stop here.